Welcome Joan Video fans, my name is Bill and welcome to this video on auto autonomous waypoint flight uh, done with the uh, Autel Evo. As you know you can do this and pre-program it at home using uh, Google Maps and the uh, Autel Evo uh, app on your viewing device and uh, that's what we did we set this up at home and then uh, you know transferred it uh, uh, once we got the field so here we, we took off and we flew over to where uh, the parking lot was because that's where we wanted to start and uh, the um, Evo ascended to uh, 200 feet which was the height of my first um, uh, waypoint and then uh, I had it come across here. We're coming to a waypoint two, which was directly over the road that runs uh, north south and towards uh, uh, towards my uh, towards Lake Erie and towards my home. So uh, uh, at this point, um, we are in uh, regular or normal flight mode with the Autel Evo, which means that it's flying at 22 miles per hour, and um, you can see that. Uh, uh, there's still considerable amount of snow. You uh, probably are fam familiar or heard about that polar vortex uh, thing that hit the Midwest states uh, last week, and uh, we did have uh, you know quite a, a bit of uh, cold and blowing snow. But uh, uh, then we had a, a warm up uh, for a couple of days where it was in the 40 to 45 degree range with uh, some sun. And since they put uh, salt down on the streets, uh, it uh, really got rid of the uh, the uh, snow on on the streets. Now there are several ways that you can program the autonomous flight. You can program it so that the craft is continuously looking at its next waypoint, and that's what I did on my uh, uh, my waypoint flight uh, by the uh, country club. This time I decided to use the free. Uh, mode, which allows uh, the uh, the Evo to point in any direction and still follow the uh, the plotted course that you have you know plotted out for it. So we're at one uh, x on the zoom factor uh, right now and flying at uh, 200 feet. Um, a little further down here, we're going to switch to two x right there. We switch to two x. You can see there's very little uh, difference in the in the uh, quality of the uh, of the picture, but uh, sh certainly does bring in uh, a lot more detail. And um, uh, we're also going to uh, rise up uh, uh, here once we hit a, a, a waypoint. My uh, plan this was to uh, go past my street, which I did, and then uh, that was where a waypoint was going to be, and then we were going to rise up another 25 feet because some of the uh, trees down here are very tall. In the distance you see uh, Lake Erie there with some uh, open uh, area, some uh, open blue ice area and uh, we're now getting ready to uh, pan down on the uh, gimbal to try and locate my house. Remember I'm looking at a very small uh, cell phone screen so uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes uh, it's a little bit difficult to pick out uh, uh, points that you're Look, that you're looking at and um, so at, at any rate uh, at this point here uh, you can see the uh, the ice still out on the, on uh, Lake Erie and we're going to rise up another 25 feet because some of the trees down here are really tall and uh, I wanted to go past my street and uh, then turn around and uh, face my house and be able to shoot it that way but I forgot that I was in the free mode and that it was just going to follow the uh, course and path that I had laid out for it, whether it was flying forward, sideways, backwards, or whatever, it was going to just, you know, follow the uh, waypoints. Um, and, and about this time, I realized, hey, wait a second, I got to turn around and manually point this at the uh, at the point of interest. There are no point of interest, at least at this uh, time, where I could have stuck a point of interest on my house and had. Uh, uh, had the craft automatically point at it, although I could individually modify the waypoints to change the direction automatically, but um, we d didn't have uh, enough experience to do that. The road that you see there 
on the road. That's the road. Uh, this is the road that my house is on, and these are my neighbors' houses. We're sort of backing up now, going over my uh, next door neighbor's house, and we'll soon be seeing uh, my house here as we pitch down the brown roofed house with the uh, ham radio antenna and the direct broadcast satellite re dishes on the roof. Uh, that's my house. And as we're backing away from it here, uh, we're getting ready to hit another uh, waypoint. And uh, at that point, we'll be turning around and, and uh, heading back towards the uh, launch point where, where we took off from, which was about uh, three quarters of a mile away. And uh, I guess you could say that it's uh, about one kilometer, three quarters of a mile. So if you look down um, on, on the ground there, there's a little uh, roadway going off to the uh, left, and I'm standing right there. So I had a clear shot for my antennas to to uh, aim straight down the road. And, you know, I had really good uh, uh, visual and a, a signal going back and forth to the uh, Evo. Um, there's a waypoint that we're coming up on right over here uh, where it stops and it always stops for a, a couple seconds at each uh, waypoint and uh, I wish they would give uh, an option to eliminate that uh, that uh, pause there and then it's flying sideways here to the final waypoint but uh, we're gonna skip past that <clears throat> the final action is to tell it whether you want it just to hover or to return to home and I uh, told it to uh, return to home so that's what it's doing here it's it's flying back towards uh, where it, it took off from and we'll be pitching the uh, camera down here and getting a, a look and you see my my car there we took off as you recall we were uh, pointed in in the other direction we were pointing north when we took off so once it gets to uh, this point here the uh, Evo turns itself in the direction in which it took off and it starts to bring itself down and I'd like to report that it landed within six inches of uh, where it took off from. So it was an interesting experiment and uh, I learned a lot. I still have uh, some learning to, to go with these uh, waypoints, but uh, it was a, a fun exercise. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, come back again soon. We'll be posting another video in another week or so with uh, some uh, ice uh, on the lake.